Photo Equipment Part 3 Lenses a Presentation for the Advisor Lenses is the third video in the equipment series. What we will cover DSLR lens availability 2023 Lenses by use and sport Specific lenses. This is a new section where we discuss the 24 to 70 28 and the 70 to 200 28. Human factors, issues, what lenses are available in 2023 summer, general and sample lens kits, and a summary. DSLR lens availability 2023. With the migration from DSLRs to mirrorless cameras, both the OEM and third-party lens makers have been discontinuing DSLR lenses. You need to plan to get your gear sooner rather than later. The following have been discontinued. Sigma and Tamron 17-52.8 for the gym and theater. Tamron 72-10 F4 field. Tamron 35-150 2.8-4 to field and gym. If you have DSLRs, the only source for these discontinued lenses is the used market, such as KH, Roberts Camera, B&H, and Adorama. Lens recommendations. I'm including lenses for both APS-C and full-frame cameras. What lenses I recommend is based on use, general purpose, theater, and sports by venue. Non-sports lenses, general purpose, theater and performing arts center. General purpose, it's a single lens that will be usable for many events without the need to change lenses. For APSC, 18 to 135 class lens, which includes the 18 to 135, 140, and 150. Full frame, 24 to 105 or 24 to 120. For APS-C, the common kit lens, the 18 to 55, will have to be supplemented by a longer lens, like a 50 to 200 or 70 to 300. That will require carrying and changing lenses more often. This becomes a hassle for the students. The 18 to 140 wins for convenience. The theater, usually dim lighting, Lens depends on the coverage width desired. For APS-C, 17-50 2.8, which has been recently discontinued, or the full frame 24-70 2.8. This is for the wide shots of the entire stage. 70-200 2.8 or 70-204 for the tighter shots. And for full frame, 24-70 2.8 for the wide shots and 70 to 200 2.8 or 70 to 204 for the tighter shots. When holding the longer, heavier lens up for long period, periods of time, you will want to support the lens on a monopod or tripod. The lenses will get heavy at when you're holding it for a long time. Caution, not all long lenses have a tripod foot. Some have a tripod foot available, but as an optional item. Sports by venue, field, football, soccer, and lacrosse, diamond, baseball and softball, gym, volleyball, basketball, badminton, and wrestling, pool, swimming, water polo, diving, tennis, track and field and cross country, golf, bowling, and air riflery. Field, football, soccer, and lacrosse. Day games, plenty of sunlight to illuminate the field. From on the field, APSC, 18 to 135, 140, and 50 to 200, 70 to 300, and 18 to 400. Full frame, 70 to 300. From on top of the bleachers, APSC, 18 to 400 and full frame 100 to 400 and 150 to 600. Take a note on this slide. There are two lines, APS-C and full frame. 
Just because a lens is not listed on the APS-C line does not mean you can't use it. You can typically use full-frame lenses on your APS-C camera. For instance, the full-frame 150-600 to can be used on an APS-C camera. Night games. Night games under lights require faster lenses than day games to deal with the lower light levels. Away games. Lighting at other schools may have been built to different standards, so the light level may be lower than at your school. Lenses that we recommend. The various 70-200 2.8. Pros. For night games, the f2.8 lens is probably the best lens to use. But the 70-200 2.8 is a heavy lens, and students may have to use a monopod. Some students will not want to lug it around because of the weight. If the students do not use the lens, it is a wasted purchase. This will probably be your most expensive lens, especially the OEM models. A new lens to the market, the Nikon Z 70-180 and Tamron 70-180 in the Sony mount. The pros is about half the weight of the 70-200 2.8. Speed of the 2.8 and just slightly shorter on the long end. Nikon and Canon 70-200 f4. The Tamron 70-210 f4 recently discontinued. About half the weight of the 70-200 2.8 lens. Con, one stop slower than the f2.8 lens may not be fast enough on dim fields. Now for some fast lens. Sigma 50 to 100 1.8, 105 1.4 and 135 1.8. These are faster than the f2.8 lens for the very dim fields. For the con, these are big lenses with no optical image stabilization. The 50 to 100 is a short zoom range and it is for APS-C cameras only. The 105 and 135 are single focal length prime lenses. What lens should you use? Next question for that is, what is the light level at your field? Take a camera to your field at night and check the exposure in the middle of the field. Check your exposure with a general purpose lens such as an 18 to 140. First, set the camera to exposure mode M, ISO 16,000, shutter speed 1 800 of a second, aperture 5.6. Now with the above ISO and aperture setting, check the exposure. If you have to lower your shutter speed to 1 400th of a second or slower, then the light level on your field is low. Your night lens should be a 70 to 200 2.8. For reference, my exposure at my field is exposure mode M, ISO 8000, shutter speed 1 800 of a second, aperture f4. Lenses for the diamond, softball and baseball, day games. You have two options, one lens for the entire field. The APS-C Tamron 18 to 400. Two lens option. Infield. APS-C 18 to 135 140 class lens. Full frame 24 to 120 class or the Tamron 35 to 150 recently discontinued. Outfield 70 to 300 or 100 to 400 or 150 to 600. Night games. None of the high schools in my district that I know of have lights on their baseball and softball fields. Baseball and softball at night will be just like shooting football at night. You're going to have to use a fast lens, which means you are limited to the 70 to 200 2.8. Gym, volleyball, basketball, wrestling, and badminton. Issues. High school gyms are usually dim, requiring a faster lens. 
Away games, lighting at other schools may have been built to different standards, so the light level may be lower than at your school. APSC, zooms, we have a problem here. The 17 to 50 2.8 lens has been discontinued. The only place you can find it is on the used market. Alternative is a full frame 24 to 70 2.8 lens. Zoom lens, prime lenses for when it's dim, 35 1.8 and 50 1.8. Full frame cameras, zooms, 24 to 70, 2.8 or 4, 28 to 75, and 24 to 105. Prime lenses, the 50 1.8. What lens should you use? Same question. What is the light level at your gym? Take a camera into the gym and check the exposure in the middle of the court. Check your exposure with a general purpose lens such as the APS-C 18-140 or full frame 24-105. Set your camera to exposure mode M, ISO 25600, shutter speed 1-800 of a second, aperture f5.6. With the above ISO and aperture, if you have to lower your shutter speed to 1 400th of a second to get a good exposure, then the light level is very low. Your gym lens should be one of the primes, a 35 1.8 for APS-C or a 50 1.8 for full frame. For reference, my exposure at my gym is exposure mode M, ISO 6400, shutter speed 1 800th of a second, aperture f2.8. Tennis it is a day game, at least here. We have an issue here. Tennis depends completely on where you can shoot from and how far you will be away from the players. The problem is none of the high schools in my district have convenient viewing positions to shoot all the courts. I am often shooting through the chain link fence. If you can shoot up close, for instance, during practice or warm up, for the APS-C cameras, the 18 to 140 lens. For the full frame, 24 to 105 or 35 to 150. If you can have to shoot from a distance, APS-C 18 to 400 or full frame, 30, 75 to 300 or 100 to 400. And remember, you can use the 30, 75 to 300 and 100 to 400 on the APS-C cameras as well. Swimming, water polo, and diving. They are day and night or indoor games. For an outdoor pool, daytime, sunny. General use, APSC 18 to 140. Full frame, 24 to 105 or 35 to 150. If you have to shoot from a longer distance, 75 to 300 or 100 to 400. Indoor pool or outdoor pool at night with lights, 70 to 200, 2.8. Track and field and cross country, day games. Track and field, there are many events with different needs. Different distances to the subject will call for different lens. We have two options, one lens option, APSC 18 to 400, full frame 24 to 120 or 35 to 150. Two lens option, use a general purpose APSC 18 to 140 on or the full frame 24 to 105 and for your long shots the 75 to 300 or 100 to 400. Cross country 18 to 140 for the APSC camera and 24 to 120 for the full frame. Golf, it's a day meet. Golf, we have two options. One lens, APS-C 18 to 400. Two lens on two cameras. For the closest shot, APS-C 18 to 140, full frame 24 to 105. For the long shots, 100 to 400 or 150 to 600. In practice, using two lenses and switching between the lenses is difficult. 
because you're going to be switching lenses a lot. It is much easier to just grab the second camera, which is why I said two lenses on two cameras. When I shoot golf, I shoot golf with two cameras. Bowling. It's an indoor sport. Your lenses for APS-C, 17 to 50, 2.8, or 24 to 70, 2.8, and a 70 to 200, 2.8 for the long shots. Full frame, 24 to 70, 2.8, and a 70 to 200, 2.8. Air riflery. Venues are indoors and outdoors, although primarily indoors. Your lens is APS-C, 17 to 50, 2.8, or 24 to 70, 2.8. And for the long shots, 70 to 200, 2.8. For the full frame, 24 to 70, 2.8, and the 70 to 200, 2.8. Outdoors, 18 to 140, plus the 75 to 300 for the long shots. And for full frame, 24 to 105, plus the 75 to 300. This is a condensed table of the sports and suggested lenses. Down the left side are the venues and the sports. Across the top, we have two columns, day and night slash indoors. In the cell, for instance, for football, we have A equals 18 to 140. That means APS-C, use the 18 to 140 lens. FF is the full frame. So you have the two lines, one for APS-C and one for full frame, and same for all the other cells. What lenses do you need for APS-C? Remember this screen? This is from the requirements video. You need to look at your sports and your situation. Remember the away games? If you don't shoot at away games, you don't need away game lenses. So you can simplify your, your selection. But remember, you may have things beyond just sports like the theater, if you have a theater. This is a specific lens section. We're going to talk about the 24 to 70, 2.8, 70 to 200, 2.8 the Tamron 18 to 400, and the Primes, the 3518 and 5018. Why the 24 to 70 2.8 lens? You need a fast lens for gym sports. It is the standard indoor sports lens for a reason. No other zoom options for APS-C DSLR. The 17 to 50 2.8 has been discontinued with no replacement. Prime alternatives for APS-C and full frame, 35 1.8 and 50 1.8. Now the con, the cost. This is not an, inex an inexpensive lens. The OEM version of this lens ranges from $1,600 to over $2,000. The third-party versions of this lens are $1,000 to $1,500. Why the 70-200 2.8 lens? You need a fast lens for night field sports. It is the standard sports lens for a reason, flexibility and speed. There is no other option for DSLR. The reasonably priced film era 2.8 short and medium telephoto prime lenses do not exist for today's digital cameras. The con is the cost. This is not an inexpensive lens. The OEM version of this lens are all over $2,000. The third-party versions are from $1,300 to $1,500. 70-200, f2.8 versus f4. Primary differences. Speed, f2.8 is one stop faster than f4. The primary value is at dim fields where the F4 lens is too slow. There is a field in my district that I will no longer go to. My F4 lens is too slow for the dim field 
where I would need an f2.8 lens. Weight, 7200 2.8 lens is two times the weight of the f4 lens and larger. Price, the 7200 2.8 is up to two times the cost of the f4 lens. So, where can you use the f4 lens instead of the f2.8 lens? If your field or venue has enough light at night, you can shoot the f4 lens. I shoot a 7200 f4 lens at my field. The other is during the day. During the day you have plenty of sunlight. The f4 lens won't hold you back. Other f2.8 alternatives to the 70 to 200 2.8. The Tamron 70-180 for Sony and the Nikon Z 70-180 2.8 for the Nikon Z mirrorless cameras. They have the f2.8 speed but similar in weight to the much lighter 70-200 f4. So half the weight of the 2.8 lens. However, this lens does not have optical image stabilization so the camera has to have IBIS. Next alternative, a Tamron 35 to 150, 2 to 2.8 for Sony. And for the Fuji, the 50 to 140, 2.8. Tamron 18 to 400. Why this lens? It's convenience. It is a very wide zoom range. You do not have to switch lens or carry two cameras to shoot infield, then immediately to an outfield catch. You just turn the zoom ring. Limitation, it is a slow lens, so it is restricted to daytime only. Prime lenses. The fast prime lenses are used where the light level is too low for the f2.8 zooms. For instance, in the gym, you're going to use a 35.18 or a 50.18. On the field, a 35.18. Limitation. With prime lenses, you only have one focal length. Some shots will be too wide and some shots will be too tight. Human factors and issues. Human factors. Weight. Some of the students are under 5 feet tall and less than 100 pounds. They cannot handle a heavy kit like an adult can. If the lens is too heavy for the student to carry and use, they may not use it. Lesson learned. We had a 70 to 200 2.8 that just sat in the cabinet for over two years. None of the students wanted to lug it around. Ideally, for sports, you want the zoom rings on all your lenses to turn in the same direction. This is so switching from lens A to lens B, where your zoom rings will turn in the same way, same direction as opposed to opposite directions, which causes confusion. That is the reason I do not use a Sigma lens on my Nikon. My Nikon turns one way, the Sigma turns the other way, and I got tired of turning the Sigma the wrong way. Nikon, Fuji, Sony, and Tamron turn in the same direction. Canon and Sigma turn in the same direction. Stabilization. Today, if the camera does not have in-body image stabilization, or IBIS, the long lens should have optical image stabilization, or OIS. The long lens benefits the most from OIS. Caution, the 70 to 300, which is commonly sold in DSLR kits, does not have OIS. That is a bad idea. Do not buy it. Issues, lens selection and purchase is a compromise between cost, performance, and weight. Cost. Pro-grade lenses are more expensive and heavier than non-pro-grade lenses. OEM lenses, Canon, Fuji, Nikon, and Sony, are generally more expensive than third-party lenses, such as Tamron and Sigma. The longer focal lens zooms are generally more expensive than the shorter focal lens zooms, significantly. Use, if a lens is rarely used, why buy it? 
When starting up, you may have to budget one or two lenses a year until you finally have your desired kit. DSLR lenses availability 2023 summer. Both OEM and third party have started discontinuing as DSLR lenses with no replacement. Thus, you are forced to buy from the used market and you have to buy your lenses before they become difficult to find. Mirrorless lens availability, 2023 summer. Nikon and Canon are still building their mirrorless lens systems. There are holes in their mirrorless landscape. Generally, you can use the DSLR lenses on mirrorless cameras via an adapter. Both Nikon and Canon provide adapters so you can use their DSLR lenses on their mirrorless cameras. OEM versus third party. Pro for the third party. Third party lenses are usually cheaper than OEM, sometimes significantly cheaper. Third party lenses sometimes make lenses that the OEM does not, plugging a gap in the, o in the OEM landscape. Cons against third party. Currently in 2023, there are very few native third party lenses for Nikon mirrorless. As of September 2022, Canon has effectively closed the RF mount to third party autofocus lenses. There is rumor that Canon will open it up later, but as of now, it is still closed. Third party lenses may not work with a new camera model. You have to update the firmware in the lens. If so, some lenses may have to go back to the manufacturer's service center to do the update. And third party DSLR lenses may not work via the DSLR to mirrorless lens adapter. There is no guarantee that the third party lenses will work on the mirrorless cameras. Light level. At away games, the light level could be lower at another field or gym. If so, the alternatives are, first, get the fastest lens you can for each type of lens. In other words, plan for the worst. Next, ask someone who is shooting successfully for his exposure data. Then you can use that to back into the lens specs. Bulk. The bigger the lens, the heavier and bulkier they are, and the more difficult to handle. The 70 to 200 2.8 is twice the weight of the 70 to 200 f4. The 150 to 600 is even heavier than the 70 to 200 28. Most students are much smaller than an adult. A lens that is easy for you to handle may be difficult for a small student, say less than five feet tall and 100 pounds to handle. Long lens support. Long focal length lenses often require support by monopod or tripod for stability or long duration shooting. The 70 to 200 to 8 will probably require support for the smaller students to use. Most 75 to 300 lenses do not have a tripod color. How will you support it? The Tamron 100 to 400 has a tripod color. The Sigma 100 to 400 does not. What lenses are available? This chart shows what is available for DSL, DSLR lenses below $2,000 in the summer of 2023. You may look at it and say, hey, wait a minute. I thought Nikon and Canon have a 70 to 200 2.8. Yes, they do. But it's not below $2,000. It is above $2,000. This screen shows the lenses which are available below $3,000. So these lenses in red are the ones that cost between $2,000 and $3,000. And here are your 70 to 200 2.8 lenses. They're above $2,000. Same thing for the mirrorless. What is available below $2,000? For the various cameras, and in the $2,000 to $3,000 range in the red. 
So again, just like in for the DSLRs, 70 to 200, 2.8 for Canon, Nikon, and Sony are all over $2,000. A general lens kit consists of a general purpose lens, a long sports lens, and low light sport and event lenses for the gym, field at night, and the theater. These are just the buckets that we will use to, to select lenses for. Sample kits. This table shows two sample kits, one for an APS-C camera and one for a full-frame camera. Lenses are general purpose, daytime long, and for low light, gym, field, and theater. Those were just samples. In reality, you can make a whole bunch of different kits. Example, here are three different kits, each addressing different situations. Option one, 18 to 140 general purpose lens, 17 to 50 2.8 lens for the gym, 70 to 200 f4 lens for the field at night. This is using the lighter f4 zoom and a 100 to 400 for the diamond. Option two, fast gym and field lens because our gym is dim and our field is dim. 18 to 140 general purpose lens, same as number one. But for the gym, we're gonna be using fast primes, the 3518 and the 5018. And for the field at night, we're gonna be using the fast 2.8 zoom, the 70 to 200, 2.8. And for the diamond, we're using a different lens, 18 to 400. Option three, this is a very different setup. We only have two lenses, whereas options one and two had four lenses each. In this situation, everything is played during the day. There are no lights on the field, and they have no gym. So the lenses are the 18 to 140 general purpose lens, which actually can be used for everything, and the 18 to 400 for the field and diamond. And for option three, this was my middle school. We had no lights and we had no gym. Everything was played out in the sun. So what are the lenses that my class uses? The camera is a Nikon D5600 APS-C DSLR. Lens, 18 to 140 general purpose lens. We have one on each of the five cameras. Gym lens, 17 to 50, 2.8. We have a problem here. That lens has been discontinued. So if we want another one, we're gonna buy it off the used market. Next, our night field lens. That's a 70 to 200, 2.8. And finally, our diamond lens for baseball and softball. That's the 18 to 400. This kit was built over three school years. We didn't build it all at once in one year. So it took us time to build this kit. In year four, we plan to get a second 70 to 200 2.8. That'll allow us to put two students on the field at night. Summary, there is a general lens kit as shown in this table. But remember, your requirements. You may have specific requirements for sports and venues which will alter the general kit. What works for me may not work for you. The end, please continue to part for camera and please like and subscribe.